Hi guys, welcome to the Jenny Show. This is my first manga series for One Piece, my favorite. And this character, Sanji, is one of my favorite characters. He is currently being spotlighted in the series. And I really hope all of you fans and geeks are ready for some magic. All right, let's get started. With an eyeliner, we want to outline where his hair falls. In the picture I use, it falls over one eye and around the other. The picture also had his mouth open, so I want to outline over my lips and a little out. I used a light brown mixed with some white face paint to lighten my skin. If your skin is his color, then you can go ahead and use your own skin color. You want to fill in all those exposed areas as well as his neck area. Now with a basic yellow face paint, we want to cover in all the hair area, which later on we'll go in for more dimension. we wouldn't have Sanji without his trademark curly eyebrow so I outlined right under mine and then placed that curly cue right above Older Sanji also has a black goatee, so I want to outline that as well. And we're filling in with black face paint all of that gold tea as well as under the chin so that you don't have any exposed white area when you lift up your face. With black face paint, you're also going over that outline of Sanji's trademark eyebrow. white face paint we're now filling in the entire mouth area and making sure the white isn't splotchy we want to go over it a few times Now of course, to give dimension to the hair, I used some light brown and I also patted the face paint once I placed it so that we can blend that in with the yellow.
the light brown face paint, now you want to go over the outline of this hair all around. And again, with that light brown, we want to give him some hairs. So you want to go around and place them. I use the photo, but you can get a little creative with this part. Contouring is important with Sanji's character. He has a very thin nose, as do a lot of manga characters. So first you want to start under the nose. You want to cover that in brown. You want to get in there as much as you can. You also want to go around the nasal fold so that we can sort of cover up our own natural nose line. And you want to counter up and thin out that nose. I also added a little contour at the crease of the eye. As well as for his cheekbones, I placed a little bit of brown, which you will see later on in the video. For his signature suit, you want to place the collar of that suit. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's blue. You have a triangle section of the blazer on top and a triangle on the bottom. You also want to place his shirt. I use a blend of gold body paint and yellow to create the inside of the shirt. Pay attention to your collar. Here I added a black shadow and I made two sort of pickaxes or two sevens underneath for the shadow of this collar. With brown face paint, I started adding his loosely undone tie. You want to add a little bit of highlight on the tips of the collar and then shadows where shadows will fall under the collar and near the blazer. Happy Valentine's Day! Hello! 